big gay has entered Dragon City once more as it has the last few years. So yes, we have the new Pride event here. And to be honest, I don't care what your stance on gayness or anything like that in general is. I want more dragons and characters in games that have big floppy rainbow hair like this. That's all I care about. Just characters with ridiculous rainbow designs like the new dragon dragon here. So of course this dragon is related to drag stuff and we do actually have some skins for this dragon and this dragon dragon is incredibly easy to get your hands on. We will go through that in a minute and also we'll be going through the brand new Midsummer Maze in general because this is a major, a big maze event, not like those tiny maze events that I don't like. This is the big maze event where you have lots of options of things that you want to go for. And this time we have dragon as a very, very cheap path for you to go down. So the other skins for this dragon, if you haven't already seen them, are seen in this image here, which I believe is posted by Owl. But you can see that we have the Drag King and the Drag Queen skins here. And honestly, I am living for that Drag Queen skin. She is looking very cute. And he does have an interesting set of elements as well. Maybe you'll find some uses for him. I mean, Happy uh, is weak to a few of the meta things, but it's also quite useful in a few different situations. But main thing to note about Dragon here is that his total maze path is actually very cheap at 1600 currency now i'm not sure if there are going to be some big differences or if there's gonna be like a b groups with big changes in terms of costs but this dragon i believe should be available to most players and in that case we also have event items that we can collect on this path because we have these new butterflies that we can collect along with dragon and so you'll see that we have a king butterfly on this path we've also got this mini queen butterfly on this path as well and we have the new collection and so the way that you can get your hands on the new skins is by actually collecting these special little butterflies and it does go through it here p-r-i-d-e find the new dragon dragon in the midsummer maze island and collect butterflies found in the maze and puzzle islands quest dragon tv the calendar and arenas to an exclusive dragon queen and king outfits and so here they are in game as well so if you get 10 of each you can unlock either the drag queen or you can get your hands on drag king so all of these things considered this should be basically quite an easy event but of course you need to get your hands on those lovely lovely butterflies to do so and so there are these butterflies inside the event like i just showed you mainly on the dragon path like those are two really easy ones to get hold of of course we've also got other things like midsummer chess on the maze we've got insignias we've got food paths we've got puzzle moves and so i will go through what paths you can afford as a player by logging in for all of the resets but we also are going to have currency in the ads as usual so hopefully you do have your ads unlocked and you're not still a brand new player that's waiting to get those unlocked and we do also have quests on at the moment where you can get event currency and you can get butterflies from those as well but luckily the butterflies are pretty early on so that should be a good thing and means that we should be able to get more easy easy peasy butterflies there are also more butterflies in the pride quests here as you can see stage one and two and apart from that we've got tons of orbs for pride so i guess ideally what we'll want to do is get pride out of the maze event as quickly as possible then get him hatched and then use him in the pride quest to get all of the other bonus stuff that we can get over there so in general, there's not really much else that's changed. A lot of people were expecting like rainbow habitat and stuff, but mainly the main pride thing that we got for this year was drag on, which again, I don't care what your stance is. I just like rainbow looking creatures and dragons. Oh, and there we go. We got max rank on him. Wonderful. We do also have Ark of Redemption. What the, oh, my voice. Ark of Redemption quests on at the moment for your boy Redemption Doom. And I do love Redemption Doom, so if you do have Redemption Doom like I do, you can get some free stuff out of these quests as well. So yeah, I just wanted to get the quests out of the way first before anything else, because we will be jumping into the actual overall costs for this maze event. But let's finish off this boy Danny here. And there we go, we got a rank up on him, why the heck not? 
So, in terms of the actual maze event itself, we will be having a puzzle event tomorrow as well, which is something really quite important, because in puzzle events, like this is how much currency we can get from the maze event, but we're also going to be having a puzzle event tomorrow, and in puzzle events, we're going to have more butterflies, but we're also going to be getting more currency for the maze event. And so, if you can get all the currency from this, that's 2 plus 1.5, 1, 750, 500, it's 6k that we can get bonus. And so, if you manage to get your hands on all of this bonus currency, you get the butterflies, then you can afford quite a few things in the Midsummer Maze event. So Dragon, like I said, is 1600 maze coins, which is incredibly cheap. We can basically get him almost instantly from all of this. And then we've got King Butterfly, Queen Butterfly tokens, and then he's done. That easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. To be honest, you can probably fit in getting Dragon no matter what you're doing. But I did come up with a couple of different, uh, I guess, numbers for this. So if you get the reset currency and the puzzle currency alone, then that's going to give you just under 26,000 currency because, you know, we're going to get that puzzle currency plus the 19,800 currency. So thinking about all of that, you can more than likely, if you watch the ads as well, which again does depend on the player, you can more than likely get your hands on Dragon beautiful fey flora and hermit crab so you could pick all four of those paths and do all of those alternatively you could just do only the tierna path which is the main key path of the event because grand total to get tierna which where is she she's over here somewhere um there's a lot of stuff in the big mazes there she is if you want to get tierna she is the final key unlocked dragon and grand total she's going to come to about 25,000 currency. If you want to get her you will have to save up all of your currency, do the puzzle event and then spend all of your currency on this key path. Any extra you can then spend it on the other paths but if she is your primary goal or mainly the key paths are your goal it's going to come to around about 25,000 currency. Now, there's also Luscious, which is 28,900 currency just in general. And now, Luscious may also be possible, but you'll probably need to get some luck with your ads, and it depends on how many ad sets we get. An alternative set of paths that you could take is instead of going the Fey Flora path, you could instead go the Dragon path, Beautiful path, Hermit Crab, Crested Fey, and most of the food path if you want to and now the reason that i would say that this may be the main paths that a lot of people go for is because crested fey and hermit crab are the event path dragons so for instance crested fey if you go down the crested fey path well we'll find them in game where is crested fey in game Let's scroll up a little bit. There's Crested Fey. If we go to this green Crested Fey path, you'll see that we have puzzle moves on this path. That is because we're going to get the puzzle event. And so if you want to do better in the puzzle event, or you just want a ton of free moves, then you would go down the Crested Fey path. And Crested Fey's path is very, very cheap at 2,500 currency as well. So it's not very expensive. Hermit Crab, he is the other event path, which will unlock in six days. And we are going to get flight stamps in this event. So you can get flight stamps and then use them in that uh, runner event that's coming up as well. And another thing is we should be getting currency for this maze event from the runner event as well. If the um, if we're going to have the puzzle event which ends before it. So there's the potential to get more currency closer to about 30,000 currency. Uh, but if we don't include all of puzzle and all of runner then of course the amount is going to be probably close to about 25k ish so it's very roundabout at the moment but if you do want to do hermit crab as well you can go down his path get the runner event stamps there's some event items here as well like from the midsummer chest that you can get your hands on but you can do this do well in puzzle do well in runner get all of the currency and then get more currency that you can then push back into the maze event so if you remember from, say, Dual Perceptions maze event, it's roughly about 30k that you can get to, including all sources. But that's only if you do absolutely everything in these events. So keep all of that in mind and it will depend on how well you do inside the puzzle and the other event. So 
What I would normally suggest with these maze events is if you're not sure if you can afford a full path, what I'd say is that rather than spending all of your currency straight away, just go and collect all of your currency. So like we're going to collect all of our event currency there and maybe we'll need to spend a tiny bit more to get a, le a less little sputtering of event currency. There we go, an extra six. And so now that we've collected all of our event currency, it says that we've got 964 currency because there's 600 currency per reset. Resets for every eight hours. But rather than spending it instantly, maybe you should just save up all of your event currency, see how much you get, and then spend it on the event. So that's normally what I would suggest. And Beautiful is a new dragon as well if you have her there in your in your event. She is beauty only, which is another one of those ancient world element dragons that we are really, really keen to get our hands on for breeding purposes. So I really want to get her personally. So I'll probably end up going down the event path sections, getting beautiful and also getting our hands on, of course, Dragon, just because he's very cheap. But because he is so cheap, and I know that no matter what I am going for the Dragon Path, I am actually going to spend my currency instantaneously. Now, the other thing to note about maze events, of course, is that sometimes we get times two on items. I'm not sure if there is a full maze guide out that shows which ones we can get times two on quite yet. But sometimes we do have the option to get times two on certain items and things if we watch ads. Not everyone gets the option and it seems to change based on platform. But if we get all of these butterflies and such and get this new skin, get this new free legendary dragon, I will be all rainbowed up personally. God, why are we getting platform orbs? Isn't that a full platform that was just unlocked? I mean, okay, that's fine. I'm fine with getting 50 orbs of a dragon-like platform. I guess it's because we're on this specific path getting these specific orbs out of it. Like, what do we get out of this one? Trend, yeah. Yeah, I think that we're just going to get full unlocks for these dragons on this path, which is interesting. Um, It's weird that they just gave them in chest form and didn't just put them as the dragons there. But like, there we go. We got platform. We can move one more path, which is a tokens, a tokens reward, which is very whatever. But 150 of that, then we can get some food. Please go away, game. I don't care. I'm not spending anything. Goodbye. But there is the end of the dragon path. So he's really, really close already. We can unlock him and then we can go ahead and do his wonderful little questies. Oh yeah, and we got that from the Ark of Redemption quest. Let's not forget that either. But yeah, I am very much looking forward to getting all this free stuff and getting these skins, getting free orbs for this dragon. Uh, the only thing I haven't really checked is what the empowerment requirements are for this, which let's see, do we have them on Ditlep? What the empowerment requirements are, if any, for this guy, which they may already have them. Here we go, Pride Quest. And you can see all this stuff that we can see in game here. And it looks like we need to get Dragon to level 48, at least according to Ditlep. So that would be two sets of empowerment, which is possible. Uh, but are we actually going to achieve it with that many orbs? Maybe. Maybe if we do some trading, if there's an empower happy hour in the meantime, it should be doable. But, but that's how you can get all of the orbs for him. If you get him just in general, you should be able to get at least the plus 60 orbs. But after that, looks like he's going to have to be empowered. So yeah, we can get up to stage three without empowerment. So we're at least going to get our hands on the butterflies free to play. But it looks like the other stuff is going to require us to actually empower the boy. So keep that in mind as you are going through. Uh, it, I mean, it should be doable. You get the dragon, unlock and hatch the dragon, rank him up, plus you use these orbs. You can at least do one set of empowerment, probably. But after that, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we can do another 100, but then, yeah, I guess we can still empower off that. It depends on if you want to empower him and waste the time, really, I suppose. It should be doable regardless, but that is the big gay that has entered Dragon City for now. And of course, aside from that, we've just mainly got like uh, Alliance chess stuff going on. We do also have Usurper Wizard Hollow. And compared to last week, which had Ambition, which is arguably one of the better dragons in the game, I would say that this one is probably pretty 
disappointing. I mean, the food amount is okay for my level. Like, times 5 million wouldn't be too bad. Keys is dreadful. And having to get through 50 levels to get Usurper compared to Ambition last week. You know, some of these hollows are just really not very impressive. And if you didn't know, Ditlip does actually have the... Um, the next upcoming Wizards Holo Dragons. These are, of course, all speculative, as I've mentioned before. But after Usurp, we may have Ascended Brave coming, Redemption Brutality, Dual Perception, all the way up to Redemption Wrath, as you can see here. So this could change. So far, this has been a reliable list. Same with all of the, uh, I guess, the, the picture document forms that we've been receiving and things like that. Uh, but, again, since none of this is official, don't take it as 100% gospel. It can definitely change and not be like this. But I guess we'll play our Wizards Hollow here. I'm not going to be spending any gems on this Hollow whatsoever, because Usurper, as a vampire, you can get by a different means. You can also trade for him, summon him during summon happy hour. It is not worth wasting gems on this Hollow, especially if you're someone that wants to go for, say, the Dual Perception Hollow, just save your gems. If you're wondering where my gems went, it's actually because I ended up being, I think it was six rooms away from Ambition yesterday. Yeah, no, I'm not even spending five gems. But I ended up five rooms away from getting Ambition yesterday, and then I would have ran out of gems. So I could not, in good faith, continue on with that run. It was very disappointing. It's like I just spent a gem and I just needed to get a couple more um, floors in. And then I immediately ran into another wizard, which was big rip. But, you know, that's as close as I've gotten to any wizards hollow dragons. If you don't have hollow yet, then don't feel too bad. Because some of us are getting highly screwed over by it anyway. <laughs> So yeah, don't feel too bad if you don't have it. Of course, it's a major benefit to have Wizards Hollow and just have it there as a thing in case you do have all the gems spare. But, you know, a lot of people just end up wasting tons of gems on it rather than getting anything of value. Unless, of course, you have enough to guarantee something like Ambition or Dual Perception, in which case, you know, those players are going to be well ahead in terms of things that they can get for free. So do I hope that they make this publicly available to everyone? Kind of, but I also kind of want to see Wizards Hollow see some major changes because the RNG is just a bit too much. It is just pure RNG loot box gacha hell, and I hate it. I hate everything about it. So I would love to see it in a different way, just not this way. But anywho, I think that mostly goes through everything that I wanted to go through today. So... I guess the TLDR is choose which paths you want to go through in this Midsummer Maze event. Of course, if you want to get event items, generally the better choice for that is going to be going through all of the key paths. And then with any of the leftover currency, you'll then go and uh, go through the other paths. So that is generally the rule with these Midsummer chests and event chests in general because there's a lot of these key paths that you have to go through. And then, of course, the main path is going to have main things like insignias and any other special event items in it. It's going to have Gemtopia chests. So there are a lot of benefits to going through the regular key path. But generally, with these major 11-day-long maze events, I don't go through the key paths. I instead go through the uh, the other paths that we have because like beautiful, I am going to go down her path, unlock her as a dragon, then we can breed with her. And you know, there's still some decent things on her path. Like we got raven chests, they're okay to open. Black chests, they're all right. Legendary jokers, I'll take some legendary jokers, even if it's just 10 of them, I'll take them. Plus we've got a couple of event items on here as well, so it's not all too bad. And then of course, we have the disgusting Faye Flora, if you really want to go down her path as well. But since the Dragon Dragon is only available for 4 days, 23 hours, I do definitely recommend at least going through his path first, getting the free stuff if you want to get him. If not, feel free to ignore him, but, you know, it's a cheap path, and you might as well, especially if you want to be in the spirit of Gay Month, which we're coming to the end of Gay Month anyway. I just want rainbow hair. That's all I care about. But anyway, thank you for joining me. And of course, if you do have any other questions or want to see anything else, then feel free to join us in a Discord server, which I was just checking something here, but 
Um, usually we do have the maze guides posted here either from us or from other people as well, uh, which, you know, it's pretty simple. It's just a lot of adding and minusing to work out what you can achieve and what you can't. But otherwise, I would say good luck and uh, enjoy your dragoning. Dragoning. However you want to say it.